Hi guys, it's Himanshi. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make an August bullet journal. The journal that I'm using is the same that I used in the previous video. In case you haven't watched that video yet, I'll put the link in the description box below. The one I'm using is from Momoso. I don't have any standard bullet journal, so I use this one only for my planning purposes. Before we really get started, I'd like to say if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Starting up with the cover page, I used a regular drawing sheet and pasted it since I wanted to use my watercolors and my pages are really thin. So to avoid the bleed, I had to do this but if you're using thicker pages, I think you should be good to go. Make sure you do a patch test sort of thing so that you don't end up missing the whole page. I like how the white sheet makes it look like a frame. For the theme, I wanted to use umbrella since it's one of the things that I love about August that it rains and I love rain guys. And from the umbrella, I was reminded of the yellow umbrella from How I Met Your Mother. So I was inspired by their poster and I used this blue and yellow umbrella theme throughout. I'm using the Camlin Kokuyo watercolors and the local size 4 round brush. If you're interested in the supplies, I will put all of them in the description down below. I used cobalt blue hue shade for the buildings and lemon yellow for the umbrella. For the sky, I wanted to use the wet on wet technique. I'm coating a layer of water on the paper and then another layer of a very light black shade immediately after. Make sure you let it dry first before using the ink. For the title, I used a very simple font and wrote it with a dark blue brush pen. I used my Uniball Signo gel pen to make the rainy effect on the paper. For the next page, I wanted to do an overview calendar for the entire month where I can log the main events and birthdays in the coming month. For the grid, I'm spacing the boxes 2 cm apart horizontally and 0.5 cm apart vertically. Since my pages are small, it might differ for you if you're using any other journal. I'm using the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in the thickness M for all the lines that I'm drawing in this grid. I'm using the first row to write all the days. I highlighted it using a neon yellow sketch pen. I used my Rorito Fiber Point Fine Liner to write in all the stuff. As you can see, I created a drop down shadow for the box, which looks pretty amazing to me, and filled the empty boxes from the previous month, like the dates of the previous month, with tiny blue umbrellas which was fun and I think they look super cute. For the empty boxes of the next month I wrote August one letter in one box. I finished writing some of the events that I remember for example it's my sister's birthday and my exams are starting on 11th of August. Next up we have is the mood tracker my favorite. I had a slight bleed as I mentioned my pages are thin 
So I used a yellow craft paper and pasted it just like the cover page. And that's the beauty of a bullet journal guys. No matter how many mistakes you make or whatever goes wrong, at the end you can always make it look better. I wrote mood tracker in a really simple font using a blue sketch pen and went ahead drawing the umbrellas and divided it into various sections that I can color according to my mood as each day passes. Some of you might ask why do we need a mood tracker at all. So guys, first of all, it's really fun. Like really fun i feel like a child again coloring a color book when i come back to it and color these boxes every day and secondly by the end of the month it helps me know how i felt throughout the month all in one single place through these cute little doodles my july mood tracker was a bit different i'll put it somewhere on the screen for you to see and then I went ahead playing with my ideas and added these cute rain boots. I think I'm seeing a lot of cute but look at them. How cute do they look? I had one day left after the umbrella so I can color this one for 31st August. You can number these or if you want you can totally leave them. On the left bottom corner I have my mood palette. I ended up giving the rain effect to the whole page, this time using a blue sketch pen. Next we have is the habit tracker. I already made the pencil draft to save us some time. This one is quite complicated so I'll try and explain my best. Horizontally, I divided the boxes 0.5 cm apart. August has 31 days so it's 16 boxes in a row and I'll be left with one box. Then I vertically divided them 2 cm apart, a total of 12 cm for 6 habits. I further divided the 2 cm column into 2 halves for 16 boxes each. We'll have one, 1 into 0.5 cm box left in the second row because it's 32 boxes in total. If it's still confusing, don't worry, I'll put everything in the description box below. So I took the liberty of drawing tiny blue umbrella in that one box that was left don't they look cute I do this thing where I set some development goals for the whole month to keep me motivated. This page is dedicated to that as you can see the title is development goals. 
by the way folks i made this bujo and filmed the video twice dekh rahe ho na matlab kitni mehnat kar rahi hu main so for that mehnat to continue please subscribe to my channel coming back i did the drop box with the shadow for the whole page and drew this yellow umbrella lying on the floor and wrote my goals to which i might add some more so i left some space On the next page I was trying to do something with my watercolors which obviously didn't work so to cover that mess I used my craft paper I wrote a nice quote to keep me motivated from Pinterest which says little by little day by day what's meant for you will find its way keep going I'm using my calligraphy markers in thickness 3 and my favorite Montex gel pens. I finished the page with some shadow lines by the sides using my dark blue dual tip brush pen. The next page we have is the weekly spread. I'm drawing a box for each day of the week and dividing them according to the number of days. For example, we have 5 Mondays, 4 Tuesdays, 4 Wednesdays and so on. I didn't use any particular length for it. It's all freehand. Since I'm not going to college or having any internships at the moment, I mostly have one or two tasks for the day. So this layout works fine for me but in normal circumstances I would have used one box for one whole day it depends on what work you're doing if you're a school going student you might want to plan it for your subjects if you're someone who goes to office you might need to keep track of your meetings and stuff like that you can change the layout as it suits you In my July planner I had it divided horizontally but I decided to keep them vertical this time. Also I highlighted the day bars with a yellow sketch pen and did the blue box shadows with each box. Now that I'm looking at it myself doing this voice over I find it so relaxing to watch coloring this page with those yellow colors. I can look at it all day and trust me it was as fun to do I think I can see this all day these pens rolling around and look how immediately these shadows add a life to these boxes of its own and they suddenly just pop i had the space left so i made another box for month in review where i can come and write how my month went at the end of august i finished with some umbrellas by the side and colored them yellow again It's time for the final flip through. I think mood tracker and final page of the weekly spread which has month in review are my favorite pages from this August bullet journal. Comment down below which one is your favorite page. 